Now look, when you're at work and somebody spills the coffee and smashes their hand, do they do this? Oh, David Beckham. Yeah. Oh, do, do they do that? I'll do that. Would you? Yeah. I've never heard anybody who smashes or drops a cup or makes a message out. Oh, David. But I have heard them say this. Oh, they do that. <laughs> I've heard him say this, G O D. I could have said D O G. Don't they? When you drop things, you drop a clanger, or you miss a penalty, you go, oh, you don't go, oh, Gareth Southgate. And that's because what's inside always comes out. Do you want to know what the mark is of happiness? It's not laughter, it's not getting drunk, it's a smile. If you smile, it's involuntary. In other words, if you've got happiness inside, it's on your face. Have a look round, see how many happy people there are. Hey, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Well, this Why are you so happy? I'm just uh, are you? Me, that's how me. did you do your handing? Yeah. How did you do your potting? What happened there? I had a little fall. Are you up here while you're fighting? He's got a video if you want to see it. Are you up here while you're fighting? Anyway, listen. Well, I don't know what you know. What's your name? Shane. Shane, come and stand here. I'll help you. Shane, I'll give you a good left hand. Don't give me a good left hand. Just stand there. You. Don't move away. Now look, this is Shane. We've been lifelong friends for 10 seconds. You're all witnesses that. Look. Now Shane, look. I'm going to say in my life I've done wrong. Yeah. Okay. Now do you think I'm telling the truth? So you think I've never done wrong? No, I'll do you definitely You think I've done definitely have. And you've known me 30 seconds. But you yeah. think I've done wrong? Is well, he right yeah, or is I he wrong? Think... Is that my is Shane right or wrong? He's saying that he, I've done wrong. I've known him 40 seconds. You're right. You're right. That man's right. And you know he's right, and I know he's right. And Shane, you're right. Okay. Hey, that's good, now look. That's good. Let's say then I'm one of these men on this cross. Yeah. Now Shane, here's another question for you. Do you think that one day I'll leave the world? Yes. Yeah, you think I will? No, me. just me, just me. Don't worry about all the other people, yes. but me. Yes, that's how life is. So listen, if you think I've done wrong, and one day I'll leave the world, does it mean, Shane, I'll leave guilty or absolutely innocent? Depends, depends who's done to you, Lord, isn't it? Well, I've done wrong, depends, you just... That, yeah. that's, up, that's up to you, that's up to you. No, 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 no. Listen, if I steal your car, what does it take me? Okay, if I punch you on the nose, which I wouldn't do because you look, I'm a bit of a wind breathing, but I punch you on the nose, yeah? yeah? That's unloving. So my conscience says you weren't kind to Shane, so I'm guilty. Yeah. If I, uh, let's yeah. say, look upon a woman lustfully, Jesus said that's adultery, so I'm guilty. Yeah. So when I leave the world, Shane, I'm there, will I leave innocent to guilty? Yeah. Guilty. You're happy with that. Is everybody happy with that conclusion? Now listen. He made it. He didn't make it. Why did he make it? But not him. If both of them were thieves. <laughs> Only one of them made it, Shane, to heaven. Yeah, they're not good people. Because they're not good people. Yeah. So you think if they were good, they'd go to heaven? To an extent, yeah. If you're a good so person. if I take my car for an MOT, and if the man says, Vinny, I can't give you a certificate because your wife was a broken. Yeah. And I say, but my emissions are brilliant. Will he say, okay, you can have your MOT certificate? No. <laughs> You're right. And the reason is, because you don't know how many good things you've got to do to make up for your bad things. I used to steal. So you tell me how many good things I've got to do, Shane. We don't know, do we? A balance, but I'll still. Yeah, you know. Okay, but listen, Kev, you're right, it's good. Yeah, but look, that man has done wrong, and that man has done wrong. How do you know he's dead? Yeah, but how do you know he's dead? Yeah, they did that, but they just. The, the, the conqueror left the shell, the soul left the body. But it doesn't mean there's nothing next, that's it. It just means one person left in body, like my sister did two, two years ago. Now Shane, thank you. Shane, look, 
I'll tell you the secret, right? Because only a few people will get it. Only a few. You could be one of the few. I'll be one of the few. Well, listen carefully. Look. <coughs> this man is on the cross, and he shouts to his mate. He said, don't have a go at him in the middle, because this man has done nothing wrong. Now, can you think of anywhere where Jesus did something wrong? Just give me one incident, anybody. He, he did what? Well, he cleared the temple. Well, what was wrong with that? Because it was his temple, and they were buying and selling. Because he said, don't rent my father's house a house of merchandise. In other words, they were making money out of it. Okay, so you're right, we did clear the temple. Can you think of anywhere where Jesus did wrong? What do you think, Shane? No, no, Jesus always does right. Well, when he, was, when he was on the cross and they were nailing him, do you know what he did? He prayed, he said, Father, forgive them, they don't know what they do. Now, if it was me, I'd be trying to whack them back. But I shouldn't do that. Because Jesus thought, don't do the Now look, you ready? I'm going to give you the big, the big card now. Ready? This man said, this man's done nothing amiss. And then he used my words, Shane, and he said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Nine words. He said a prayer that he meant, and Jesus gave him nine words back. And this is what he said. This day, you shall be with me in paradise. Was it Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday? What day was it? Listen, it don't matter what day it was. It was the death day of Jesus. Because Jesus was to die. And he was to die. And he was to die. Now, of them three men who died first. Of them three men which went first. Go on, Shane. Jesus. Not Jesus, his mates. Are you ready? When they came to Jesus to break his legs, it said he was dead already. So you're right, he died first. Now look, let's say you get to a position and it's your last time on earth and you want Jesus to help you. But he's dead and gone forever. He's not been out, is he? But listen, when he said, forgive me, live in my life, Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. When my sister was dying, you know what? My sister, my other sister, read the Bible to me. And she read John 14. Do, and this is what it says. Do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, if it were not so, I would tell you. So my sister, Kathleen, who worked for the police, would be pressed. Would be pressed. Jesus would give her everything. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to just say something. Wherever you come from in the country, you'll find the local paper is the Cornish man. Yeah? I'm going to tell you something about the Cornish man. Ready? It's absolute trash. I've never read it, but it's trash. What's wrong with that? I know, would it be awful? I've never well, read it. Please send me the bit if you can. It'll trash. go on it'll go on YouTube, I'll uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll send uh, if, you, if you go on YouTube it'll uh, you'll be able to see it, yeah. <laughs> Come to a conference. Stay here, I'll be I'll I'll talk to you in a minute. That book there says this I've come that you may have life and life in all its fullness. Would anybody like to search out to see if there's eternal life? Jesus said there is, only a few will get it. Jane, are you one of the many or one of the few? This is absolutely free. Anybody take it from the hand, and all I'm saying, take it home, read it when you're quiet, and ask God to speak to you. Thank you very much. Anybody else, just take one from the hand, anybody can have one. Remember what I'm offering you is life eternal. Where you'll be a million years from tonight. That's how important for everybody. Anybody else, just take one. Take it from my hand, just take it, read it. Oh, okay. oh, Thank okay. you. <laughs> if I'm the world heavyweight boxer, Muhammad Ali, and I find out that Joe Fraser's died, I'm not worried about the fight. Loads of people say there's no God, but they end up fighting him. How can nobody upset you? <laughs> there's nobody can't upset you. Um, tell us where you live. Uh, I'm from a place called Preston. And for those who don't know where Preston is, where is it, Joe? Lancashire, up north. Okay, great. And you're married? I'm married. And you've two children? Two children, yes. And how long have you been sent out? Uh, what? 
Christmas uh, Saturday. Okay. So this is Joe. He's going to speak on the great theme of conspiracy theories. Over to you, Joe. Well, yes, a very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as you know, because of TikTok, because uh, a lot of people have sort of thinking more about different things, conspiracy theories are very, very popular. And I want to ask you, do you like a good conspiracy theory? This one here. Do you know people say that Jesus Christ didn't really rise from the dead? They believe it was a conspiracy theory. Do you know people actually say Jesus didn't really die? Here's how they say. They say Jesus, when he went to that cross, there he was, he was dying, he was bleeding there, they put a spear through his side, there he was, suffering, they put him in a tomb, and they believe Jesus somehow managed to push away a massive stone, and escape, fight off a Roman guard, and defeat everyone else, and trick the whole world. Do you think that happened, really? Do you think Jesus really did rise from the dead? You do you think that? Are you okay? Well, I'm pleased you're admitting to that, okay? I'll tell you some evidence why Jesus rose from the dead. What year were you born? Someone shout out what year you were born in. 2006. 2006 years after who? Michael Jackson. Not Michael Jackson because Michael Jackson hasn't risen from the dead. After Jesus. AD in the year of our Lord, BC before Christ. He was so special, he was so amazing that he split time in two. He rose from the dead, you see. And friends, I don't know what you think about Jesus, but he loves you to pieces. On the cross 2,000 years ago, all the worst things you've ever done, Jesus Christ died on that cross for you, so you could, you could be forgiven. Now, can I ask you a question? Are you forgiven? Have you come to the cross and asked the Son of God to wash away your sins? If I'm covered in dirt, if I'm really, really dirty, would it be wise to go and wash in the sea? Of course, because it'll wash me clean, it'll make me clean. And so it is with us, we've got sins from our head off to our toe. We're covered in our sin, and yet the blood of Jesus can wash us white as snow. It can make us clean, it can give us a new start. Do you know the Bible also says this? That worst thing you've ever done, that worst sin, if you put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, it says that your sins can be buried, buried at the bottom of the ocean. Now, if it goes to the bottom of the ocean, it's not coming back, is it? And I'm asking you today, have you put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ? One final challenge, if there's any atheists out there, I've got a challenge for you, Mr. Atheist. What would you think of me now if I said to you, Harry Potter is a terrible book? What if I said, Harry Potter is the worst book in the world, but I've never read it before? What would you think of me? You say, read it first and then make a judgment. Well, friends, don't say the Bible's a lot of rubbish. Don't say the Bible's one big conspiracy theory. It's about reading it first. And if anyone's not too embarrassed, I'll give you a portion of the Bible absolutely free. If you want it today, you come and take it from my hand. If anyone wants it, come and read it. Anyone else wants to read this? These are the words of eternal life. You're not going to get much things free today in St. Ives. Everything's very expensive. But if you want a portion of that, you can read that for yourself. 